take two. <laughs> uh, my last one, I went back and replayed my audio, and it was just t-shirt against my mic. I can't stand it. I'm sorry. I know my last one had it in there, and I hated it. That's why I called it crappy video. I freaking hate it. OCD with OCR. Yeah. Anyway, back to the star of this episode. Micron. Uh, it's local to me. It's only about 45 minutes from my place. Uh, it is a Pentium desktop. Uh, the downside to these older Microns is the Dallas clock chip, which I know this one has. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's probably bad. I don't know. Uh, it's a fact of life. So, uh, I already got everything hooked up in the back of it because this is take two. Uh, you have your standard parallel serial 1 and 2, uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse. It does have a graphics card inside and a sound card. I already tossed the modem out. So I'm going to pretend like I never opened it up again. So don't mind me just lifting the lid off of this thing somehow and uh, opening it up. Oh, there we go. Very simple to open most of the time. And uh, pretty sturdy plastic. Got a nice little reinforcement there. Uh, mainly because these were designed to put the monitors on top of this. Like an 80 pound monitor. I don't know. It felt like 80 pounds back in the day. I did go ahead and toss a hard drive in here. I doubt it's actually going to work for me. Oh, starting to get the hiccups a little bit. So, let's see what we have inside here. It does appear to have all the cache chips already installed in there. And... So, right there, where my light is pointing, we have a Pentium 75. Uh, I would pull that off again and show it to you, but it just looks like a ceramic Pentium 75 CPU. It's kind of nice because I don't have one of those until now. Uh, we got CD-ROM, floppy. We have the sound card, which I will pull those out and show you. Sound card and video card. CT2800, uh, Vibra 16S. It does have real OPL, so that's a plus. And it does have a wavetable header. Another plus, uh, your standard for input outputs. And we have our VGA card. It does already have the memory expansion in there, so probably two megs, maybe four. I'm guessing probably two. Uh, it is the Stealth 64. Uh, 2001 series version 1.0 made 95 so stealth 64 2001 there we go uh oh cp fan i don't want to spin there we go now you're making some noise i'm gonna give it a little start medium 75 640k ram extent system ram 72 megabytes. Hey, whoa! That's impressive. It is, in fact, April 19th of 22. So, I wonder if it will detect the hard drive here. Yeah. Uh, I want you to do auto. Why don't you do auto? doesn't want to do auto. Well, I might have to find a smaller hard drive. Apparently <laughs> 30 gig isn't going to work. Well, this is kind of an uh, intermission here. As you can see, I do have this running. I'm in the process of formatting the hard drive. However, that noisy freaking fan is really starting to irritate me. And 
yeah, you can see that thing has lived its life in dust. So, and yes, I did do everybody else's trick of lubing it up. In fact, I will show you what I used. It's right there. So, I've used this in the past. It has done wonders. In fact, it actually brought that fan to life to start to spin up. So this is developed by the Boeing company. Yes, same Boeing jetliners. I uh, have a lot of family in aviation and I was recommended this. In fact, I use some of their uh, other stuff whenever I'm milling. I'm getting ready to turn this thing off, put this old fan on here. This should work a lot better. Ah, oh, much better. Yeah, I think that uh, heat sink might be a little overkill, but hey. I'll take the quietness over a absurdly huge heat sink. And we're going to use Windows 98 startup disk to install Windows 95. Because backwards is always better. Yeah, no, my original hard drive did not work. I had to swap it out. So I happen to have a 512 or 514 megabyte hard drive that will work. I think I got two or three more left. They're known working. <clears throat> Welcome to the setup. Okay. Setup is now preparing your Windows 95 setup wizard, which will guide you through the rest of the setup process. Please wait. I don't want to wait. Uh, now I'm hooking up my sound card. They were getting the hole. So, I guess I should explain what I'm going to do with this system. <laughs> well, I haven't completely thought of it yet. If you guys have any suggestions about it, please let me know. So, a little bit of an update here. Now that I make sure this camera is actually on, I was trying to find the drivers that would work for this Dell 64 uh, PCI graphics card. No luck. Uh, I think I mentioned before these have got some weird chipsets and I think they're just clones. Anyway, it's only giving me 16 bits and I know this card should work for giving me at least uh, true color or 256 uh, graphics. Not happy here. The alternative is, this is the SIS-305, or 305, 32-megabyte card, PCI. It uh, was branded by Mad Dog, as you can see there. Uh, Mad Dog was, what well, I remember, it was sold by CompUSA as kind of their budget line graphics cards. And I actually have the step up from this. It was the SIS 315L. I don't know if the L makes a difference, but I actually it does. It was a low profile. That's what it was. I've been known to knock SIS a few times, but this one's actually kind of handy being PCI. So, I'm going to roll with it. And This is one I picked up during an event and been wanting to check it out anyway. Uh, I've never actually played Quake 2 with this one, or any of the Dooms. I'm kind of interested to see what it can do. So with that being said, here we go. As you can see, the uh, SIS graphics card works much better. Yes, I know, it's overkill for a Pentium 75 system. But... Eh. I'll take it.
Yes, I had to include that in my video. <laughs> I figured it was a nice little touch. All right, uh, this is not going to show it here. So, uh, it is the following day, and I finally got this graphics card inserted. And yes, this was the computer that I did the short on on pulling out your graphics card. <laughs> Uh, if you like that, thank you. Uh, if you'd like me to do some more of that type of video for short, please let me know. Uh, I do have another idea. It might be a little disastrous. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it safely. Uh, uh, yeah. I think I'll just leave it at that. It is going to happen. When, I don't know exactly. How is still in the process, but uh, it involves water and electricity, so there we go. Now then, to show you what I did here, I have to restart the system. And I did not do any changes, so I'll discard and exit. show it. So here we have, it is overclocked to 100 megahertz from the 75. Uh, I didn't add any more RAM to it and didn't do much of anything else. But it is an M54HI-11 motherboard, which is a Micronics system. Uh, not the greatest board, but not the worst board either. And obviously it's socket 5. Uh, I should have covered those details earlier in the video, but I was a space cadet and forgot to. Sorry. So, on to showing you what Quake 2 looks like on this thing. Overclocked. So this is the running with the SIS 305. 305 uh, graphics card. The images are great. This is running at 800 by 600. And honestly, other than it being choppy, it looks great. I mean, for Quake 2, that's uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Like I said, this is, I'm getting the same effect with this processor working at 75 megahertz or overclocking it to 100 megahertz. It's a little bit quicker, but not by much. Maybe one or two frames faster. Yeah. Um, yep, I'm too young to die. Well, matter of opinion. Uh, there we go. Congo. Ghost Town. Hmm. Let's go to the realm. Ooh, oh, hey, we got TNT on here. Okay. Sorry, I forgot how many different cool maps are on here. Oh, Pharaoh or Caribbean? Oh, I'm, I'm not feeling Pharaoh. My mouse ain't working. No, neither is my keys. That stinks. Yeah.
Really cool map. These guys are a little hard to kill. <clears throat> Not sure what I just did. Sorry, I'm getting sucked into this. come from oh, right there Relaxing song, though, or music. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's this thing. Like, I overclocked it because I was trying to get Quake 2 to run a little bit better. That's obviously not going to happen. This system is not going to work for this. So, what do I do now? Well... I guess it's about time for me to do an AMD build. Shocker, I like AMDs. That being said, thank you for watching. And until I get off my rear end to do another video, stay safe and watch out for those idiots.